What's up everybody? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is time for a Monday Moment Vlog. And it's taken me a while to come up with this one about what I want to talk about. I ain't gonna lie about that one, but um, so I did, did a little digging around and see what I could talk about and everything. And uh, one thing did kind of stand out that I need to talk about um, to me because it's not mainstream media right now. There's too many other things that are making mainstream media. So what I want to talk about today is kind of along the lines of what we've I've been talking about from the mask mandate to the COVID vaccines you know and so on so did a little digging around um, to find some information and of course the news is all flooded with how Trump's called Georgia to find votes or and how their the GOP is um, in a battle to, to overturn the election so that Biden isn't the president elect and all this other stuff. That's what the media is setting above everything else. What they're hiding is what you have to dig for, what you have to look for. And that's what I go do typically because I'm a very much, I can be a very conspiracy minded person. If, if I go digging around, I can go find things and I have to be careful with that. But the one thing that I noticed that wasn't being talked about mainstream-wise was the fact that the origination place, Wuhan, where COVID started, the alleged fish market, they shut down the town, the, the city of Wuhan for a uh, full lockdown for like 76 days. They made people stay in their homes. They forcefully locked them down to the point where only um, essential workers and things like that, you couldn't even go out and buy food. You had to be uh, shuttled into you from a little scooter car to make sure that in their city that COVID wasn't being spread. Now you can't do that in America because we're a democracy where they're under a dictatorship and they can kind of do that. They can get away with those kind of things. Over here, you can't do that. So, Wuhan celebrated New Year's. They were partying like it's 1999, no lie. They had like nothing had happened. Huge fireworks displays that were on like an Olympic level. Of course, we know the Chinese, that's where the fireworks originated and all this. But they had an Olympic size display of fanfare for the new year. People gathering in the streets, no masks, partying like it's 1999. And guess what? COVID's pretty much gone over there. Plus, their government is not promoting a fear factor agenda for a vaccination to keep their people healthy. They even illuminated in in the, the stuff that I found about the hospital that was built in 10 days and how it's just a shell of a hospital now and, and how they have it just standing there and they've made museums and, and displays of appreciation and gratitude for the essential workers and they had like uh, mannequins in their full uh, health attire get up of being you know like hazmat suit from head to toe masked and gloved and and you know just very much protected while they're taking care of these COVID patients and it's funny how they said that they're not going to do anything with that hospital that's not even really being used right now but they're going to leave it there just in case something else like this happens red flag so are you already planning on having another wave of this thing and you're kind of leading that out there or are you just saying that to cover bases interesting so you got china partying like it's 1999 and you got over here in america you can't be out 
doing anything after 10 o'clock, well, in North Carolina anyway, you can't be out doing anything after 10 o'clock because there's a curfew. A government, a state government mandated curfew where you have to be home at 10 o'clock unless you're going out for essential items. So, yeah, but they want to talk about how they're taking away our freedoms and things like that. And they are to a degree. But they didn't take it away like they did in China. They didn't lock us down in our house for 76 days or however long it was and say you can't leave your house. You can't even go get food. You can't even go get essentials. You have to tell us what you want. We bring it to you. They didn't, they didn't get that far. But why is it that the originating or place for the global pandemic is partying like it's 1999. They're not pushing this vaccine. They're not um, fear factoring their people. Of course, like they've got more control of their people too. But they're not promoting this vaccination that America is. So it's just, it's just a bit of a suspicious thing for me about how the originating, the orientation of where this virus came from is now over for them. But everybody else is now still having to deal with the side effects and the, the detriment of what has been caused. And even in the article, the WHO is supposed to be going in. And if you don't know who the, the WHO is, and the, the WHO is not a hoodow. The WHO is the World Health Organization. They have, are supposed to be going in with reporters. Why would you go in with reporters? I guess to document you need to have legitimately backed people who know what they're documenting and that are factual based and will tell the truth because there's so much false narrative that's come out from this that's scary but there are the Chinese government is taking down there was a report that they arrested a Chinese blogger or person that spoke about things in relation to COVID they, they took down her stuff and they put her in jail. So why, 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 why you got to hide people? Why you got to hide the truth? Why you got to put people in jail for the truth? Is it to continue to promote a false narrative, to push your political agenda in a way that makes it more beneficial for yourself, or is you're covering bases? What, what are we doing? You know that I think that's why I'm gonna name this thing as my vlog. Is what's really going on? There's very much an underlying energy of something that is trying to be hidden that that's not settling well with me. It's really it's really just not. And I, I have a feeling that more information is going to come out. It's not going to come out immediately, but it's going to come from a source where they will be taken down because every last thing that's come out about truth has been taken down. And they say it's not truth, but why else would you snatch it down real quick? You will leave up a false narrative in saying that it's lies, but you'll leave it up. Watch what the FCC, watch what they regulate, watch what political platforms allow to remain and what they don't allow to remain because that's going to be the telltale thing of it all, in my opinion. But anyway, that's my rant for today. I just don't understand it all. I mean, I'm like, just really tell me what's really going on because I don't know. I mean, I could have a 10,000 conspiracy theories, but only one's going to be true. Because we don't know the truth until the truth comes out. And it's come from a, a legitimate source that can say, you know, I know this is fact and watch it be taken down. So we just got to watch for that stuff. So y'all have an amazing Monday. I've already started off my Monday great mindset renewed i am plugged into god i am ready for the day and if things that are going to come against me to take away that energy i'm going to have to work and fight against them and you can too so be sure to like comment subscribe and share and i will see you in my next video bye